All right, so I'm currently preparing for the con. It is Friday. The con is tomorrow, March 2nd, and Sunday, March 3rd, Saturday and Sunday. Um, printing stuff out right now. I'm matting these. I haven't taped them yet to the backing. But I got all kinds of goodies. This is, this is tough because I don't know what's going to sell. I don't know how, how many to make of these things. Like, I'm using all these mat boards up. Like, I'm down to my last one. And I could be saving them if I knew what wasn't going to sell. Like some, like that Dr. Doom, I don't think it's going to sell. Probably that guy. Um, I don't, I really don't know. The Spider-Man with just the head, I don't think it's going to sell. The Grinch, it's probably not going to sell. I made that for Christmas. It's not Christmas anymore. It's uh, March, so March 1st right now, Friday. So I wish I could save these mats, but I don't know what's going to sell. So down on my last mat here. Yeah. Look at this, just photo paper, box after box, laid to waste, more to come. So, uh, just packing up for the con. What time is it? It's Friday, 11 a.m. Con's tomorrow, starts at 9 a.m. Um, got more suitcases to come. But uh, yeah, just getting organized. I don't know if I pack too much, pack too little. Like, if I printed too much, printed too little. I don't know, we're gonna find out. This is my first con. I'm excited, nervous. Hope it goes well. Man, I've been hustling as much as possible today. Um, it's 7.22 p.m. right now. I've been trying to find people to come with me to the con. I have a free badge and I'm asking, you know, not everyone, but people I wanna go with. And everyone's like busy or don't wanna go. And I finally asked my sister, she said that I asked her last second, literally just now, she said that she's, she'll come, and I'm trying to get someone for Sunday to come with me as well. Um, Why well, I need someone, there's going to be a bunch of awesome comic book artists and writers there, uh, current and past, just legends, people killing it now, people that used to kill it, and I have a lot of information, and I need someone to watch my table when I go to their panels, ask them questions, sit there for an hour, listen to their the whole talk, I need someone handling the transactions and watching the table. Uh, this is my first con, so I want to be at my table the whole day, just meeting people, promoting my work, giving stuff out. And it, it stinks that, that well, it's, it's double-edged. It's awesome that there's these awesome panels and people that, that, are, that I want to meet, which I'm going to meet and uh, learn from them. But it sucks I'm, I'm not going to be able to be at my table the whole the whole time. But luckily, um, my sister's going to come, come through and help me out and uh, watch the table and handle transactions while I'm not there. Check this out. This just came in the mail uh, today. I've been waiting for this bad boy for like three months, man. I, there was like shipping problems and, and all kinds of things. I had the Spider-Man costume for the longest time and I was waiting on this mask and it finally came in the day before... Um, the con, so I'll be in full gear, so looking forward to that. Also, I need to print out some different um, things here. I'm going to add shirts, stickers, my, my regular prints, frame prints. I'm going to have it all on one sheet, so I need to print out some other stuff for that. Uh, just a lot of last second things I need to do. I'm going to wake up at 5. Right now it's, what time is it, 7.25 p.m. I'm going to wake up at 5 tomorrow morning, so I'm going to... Uh, I don't know how much sleep I'm going to get, but I'm behind on schedule right now. Alright, so we have officially arrived at Comic Con Revolution, West Palm. Just walk in there with me for a second. I don't need anything else. This is a loading dock. Looks pretty cool inside. I think they're on the floor. Oh. 
Ooh, they have a tattoo thing. So it's 7 a.m. right now, con opens at 9. You were able to come here in here yesterday and set up if you wanted to. But I did not do that. I see some people did. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Donnie Cates. <laughs> yeah, he's the he's currently the writer for Venom. See look at that, he has the He works for Marvel. All right, so I know we can go that high. <laughs> Look at that Wolverine. Oh, cool stuff. Yeah, I can do stuff like this. Who is this? Alan Grimes. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got my sister. Working for me, putting her to work. I like that we're here early, no one around, so I can get a little messy here. Setting up. What's up, man? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. You want some free artwork? I have some free work. This is free? Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Alright, so the con started at, I don't know if you can hear me, but the con started at 10. It's sold right now. I've sold zero things. I've been walking around as my sister watches the table. People love the suit, been taking a lot of pictures. Uh, a lot of attention, but I haven't made any sales yet, which sucks, but we'll see if things change later on. What's up, guys? You want You guys want to pitch? Yeah. I, which I think, by the way, is why the Spectre never lasts very long in a run. Whenever they come out and say, we're going to do a Spectre book, it lasts like, you know. Because they can't get a good writer. Well, at paper. some point, you know, you run out of gas with Vengeance, I think. Yeah. You run out of gas. The Crow is another example yes, of the Vengeance the story. Again, Native American mythology. Yeah. So, Sorry, just do that. Um, <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I just read it and I saw a good example, you know. Is that Instagram. Return Fire? Each of you is getting like two seconds. <laughs> Make sure you say it in those two seconds because we may have to run past you. And I'm sorry, you're beautiful, but it's just a fact. So 
I'm going to call each of you in order that you are on this list. Okay, here you go. Can't say nothing. Quality oh, seconds. Sorry. They got next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was already too late in my right side. I can't hear a damn thing she She's saying you don't have a lot of time on stage, a lot of contestants in a short amount of time. I like that too. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so that's how things are. All right, so it's 9 p.m. Um, the con, ups and downs. First of all, I did not vlog a lot during the con. It was it was pretty crazy. Um, I've never gone to a con that had such valuable panels back to back, like literally in the same room. Uh, people would leave, speakers would leave, and I wouldn't even move because other people would come in talking about comics and the industry and, and just inter interesting stuff. I, I missed a few very valuable panels specifically on how to make comic books i don't know how i missed it one started in another room i didn't realize and then um i saw the ending of one but uh, there was other other panels that i got to see artists i got to meet and ask questions of and take pictures with like just legendary people uh fabian co-creator deadpool um uh, chris claremont claremont um, Jimmy Paulavina, some uh, name like that. Uh, uh, some uh, some other guy that did Wolverine. Like I'm, I'm just I'm new to all these guys. Um, I'm sorry to say, I know that a lot of the, a lot of these guys are legends, but I'm new to them, so I don't have their names mesmerized. But I definitely knew who they were when I saw saw them, and um, I, I got some really cool pictures. It was crazy because I was desperately trying to find someone to watch, like to bring with me. I had a, I had a spare badge. Put I was asking people, please come watch my table. Uh, handle transactions because there's these panels I want to go sit and listen to and I'm going to be gone for an hour at a time maybe a couple hour and a half two hours so I couldn't find anyone until last second my sister I asked her and she came through and she was such a big help so thank you Desiree if you're watching this saved my butt and I was in the Spider-Man costume first time I wore that ever especially in public I wore it in my room to try it on but to wear it in public walking around that was that was hard to manage. Um, first of all, it, it was a little hard to see, and I'm wearing gloves, so it's hard to handle anything. So I'm not holding anything except my business cards. I was handing handing those out, but I couldn't take pictures or, or record much with that costume on. Uh, so I didn't get a lot of stuff with that as I'm as, as I was wearing that. And then I would go to a panel, so I wasn't recording there during there during that, and, and my phone died during the event. So it was it was just a bad day. So. Tomorrow is Sunday. I'm gonna try to keep my phone at full health. I didn't. I didn't ask all the questions that I want to ask. Uh, not from everyone. There was one guy who I bought comics from. He's like in his 50 or 45, but he made. He's he's making graphic novels now later in his life, and that's why I wanted to ask all these guys, man. Like, is there hope for me at 27, who, as a child, was not working on writing and, and becoming an artist and honing his skills as I hear so much so many people do and by the time they're twenties and they're in their twenties, early twenties they're like really good. That's not me. I'm twenty seven. I'm just now starting that, you know, so like I have I have a lot of doubt about if I can make a comic or not even make a comic. I know anyone can make a comic and throw it online. Can it be successful? Can I become famous? Can I make characters that people love? Can I get notoriety? Can I inspire people? You know? Can I become something big? So that's, that's the doubt I have. So, uh, so tomorrow, Sunday, I'm going to try to ask more, more of these writers and artists more about that. See if I can get some answers and their input on it. Oh, money-wise, I didn't make jack squat. I paid 250 for the table. I think I made... 50 bucks so i'm down 200 dollars like the information i got is, is really really valuable so um and inspiring um the, the tidbits i've got so just 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 off of that i'm like eh, okay i'll forget the money but hopefully tomorrow i start selling some stuff man like holy crap i, I did not expect it to be this bad i thought things were gonna be flying off the rack 
at my table, but nope. So that stinks, but Sunday, fingers crossed, hope that goes better for me.